So today we're doing part three of the $100 flip up challenge. Now let's see if I can remember. When we started with the very first $100, we ended up getting a small case with pretty much all the makings of a, a working computer. We ended up selling that we had initially $100 invested and flipped that into $200. Then we found a $50 PC that was absolutely disgusting that we ended up putting a few extra modifications on there. I put a 1050 Ti and was able to turn around and sell that for 225. So we had only 110 invested into it. So it means we had 90 left over. Once we ended up selling that for 225, that puts us at $315. So what I found on Facebook Marketplace was this computer that was fully built, had drives, had everything running for $300 but I didn't end up paying $300. I talked him down to 250 bucks, and honestly, this thing is a lot more than I was expecting whenever I ended up picking it up. It is an older Ryzen CPU, but whenever I saw the pictures of the computer, I noticed the GPU was quite small, and the listing did not say anything about the GPU, and I didn't really think to ask. I saw it and just assumed it was probably a 1050 Ti, but the case and everything else that was in it, I was like, if I can get this for cheap enough, I might be able to do something with it. Whenever I picked it up, I was driving home, didn't even think to look at it. I got home and I noticed that it said 1660 on it and it ended up being a 1660 Ti. So I was very excited to end up getting this build. The only thing I wasn't too excited about was the case. This Rosewell case is kind of an odd one with the, I guess you would call it an attic instead of a basement for the PSU, but it does have this top portion that allows you to put the power supply. I think it makes it a little bit more difficult to run cables to things like the GPU. As you can see, these cables are not really routed uh, in a aesthetically pleasing way. But I ended up getting this thing for $250 and what I've got planned for this $250 is to take that remaining $65 and look for a case. I found one of the most common cases that I use and honestly I find these cases quite frequently on Marketplace and the guy had the case for $60 and whenever I started talking to him turns out that he did have a Wraith Spire cooler that he ended up throwing in for 65 for both items. So I think with what we have now, I will end up swapping everything from this computer into this white NZXT 510 case. We'll think about turning around and selling the Rosewell case and seeing if we can make maybe 40 or $50 back on it. And then we'll end up trying to sell this PC as a complete running PC with drives, Wi-Fi, and then the Ryzen 5 and the 1660 Ti. Hopefully we're looking to make off of everything that we still have remaining. We're looking to make around $600 total. Even if we're down in the 550 range, that still gives us a considerable amount to turn around and find either another computer that is a higher caliber than these, or even potentially find two lower end gaming PCs that we can turn around, clean and flip and possibly sell for more. But first we got to get this thing cleaned out. So let's get to it.
So just a quick recap, everything that you see here is what we have available to sell and hopefully make a profit and continue to snowball this into more money. So we have the Rosewell case that I really didn't care for, maybe get 40 or $50 out of this thing. We do have that Cooler Master CPU cooler that we pulled out of this PC whenever we put that Wraith Spire cooler in. We also have that R7 200 series GPU that we pulled out of the last PC. And we can't forget our main build that we have, hopefully able to get around $500. In total, it would be nice to have around $600 because I do have my eye on a couple of other PCs that I could potentially get two of them for the $600 that we're shooting to get. If not, we'll at least pick one of them up and potentially be able to modify it for more. But everything you see here, we're on a good track to potentially make some better money and just continue to work toward that high-end gaming PC. So I do greatly appreciate you being here. If you don't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know below what else you'd like to see. I've got a lot of videos coming up and I just truly appreciate the support. Thank you so much. Hope you have a wonderful day and I'll catch you next time.